All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video today. Uh, today we're going to cover homemade winter camouflaging um, for for uh, hunting purposes, uh, military purposes, tactical purposes, uh, stealth camping purposes, whatever. Um, this is just kind of a, a basic yet extremely effective thing that uh, many uh, many cultures and uh, militaries around the world have been doing for a very long time. Uh, so what you'll need is uh, an outdoor camouflage uh, spray paint in brown. That is the most natural color in a winter environment apart from white with snow is going to be brown. And then uh, you just take a piece of cardboard and you cut kind of a, a larger not quite circular hole, kind of oblong hole, and then more of almost like a striping hole. And what we're going to do is we're going to use some of this camo netting and spray through that, through the template, onto white fabric. I got some full, uh, some uh, sizing full bed sheets, white bed sheets and pillowcases that I'm going to be putting this patterning onto. And I will show you what that looks like uh, after I've sprayed it and um, how that's going to look and then uh, the application for it uh, once I've done that. So these are basically the things that you need. Brown spray paint, uh, preferably a, a camouflage type earth tone type color. The Rust-Oleum Outdoor Paint works awesome. A cut template, some camo netting, and white fabric. Uh, if you want to get plain white winter hunting clothing or whatever and then do it to that you can do that as well uh whatever you want to do i'm going to do more of like a parka style covering um and everything like that so i'll uh i'm going to go spray these down and uh do some some cutting for sizing and things like that and then i'll show you what that looks like here all right step two of the process is cutting to make the poncho Cutting all this edging out so that the uh, the parts that hang down on your sides or just at your wrist down here at the ends, and that you've got a good you know several inches, at least six seven inches above the top of your boot, somewhere in there, about maybe five six inches, and then reinforcing the collar so that uh, it's stronger because that's going to be one of the biggest the biggest tension tension aspect wear points so sewing and reinforcing the collar as you can see a phrase here when you cut it obviously so then you reinforce it okay so you're trimming it down and then you're trimming and reinforcing the collar and now for the next part painting all right and uh, just did the painting job after getting the uh, edging and reinforcing of the neck with the sizing and everything done, did the painting. Nothing too crazy, you just want a little bit of brown on there. Natural, uh, natural earth tone to help blend in the profile a little bit. Now again, this is a poncho, so it just, just right over, there's a front and back and it just kind of hangs very very um, old school Mexicali way. You can cinch the waist with some white cordage or whatever, guts of a 550 cord or whatever you want to do. I like it a little bit loose and hanging. It's easy for me to get under it to my gear as needed. Things like that. So you just you just alternate the patterning. You just kind of find spots and splotch it with the camo netting. I'm letting that dry obviously because that's got paint all over it. I also did a, uh, a mask uh, kind of hood kind of setup to cover that as well. The majority of the face and the head with the same patterning. So there's a little opening for the eyes and the nose and everything else is covered. Um, so yeah, that's the full setup there. Uh, that's the, the full detail in the paint job there. So I've got it in my bathroom right now in a well ventilated area where they did the painting. So I'm going to bounce out of here. I was using PPE while I was spraying and uh, it's still pretty pretty strong in here so I'm gonna bounce out of here and let this dry but that's uh, that's really all you got to do just break up the profile a little bit natural earth tone color as a base 
You see the Varusta Leica kind of variant for their uh, finished winter camouflage. It uses green, um, which is good. It's good for their uh, their topography and everything. But there's a lot of, especially in North America, there's a lot of browns because everything dies during the winter. We don't. Some areas have a lot of the the coniferous plants and everything, but it's still brown blends in a lot better than green. Um, so you just break up the profile a little bit, just kind of randomize and sporadically make these spots to help break up profile and kind of help you blend into the environment. And this works extremely well for $20 worth of stuff, buying a sheet, uh, you know, uh, uh, another pillowcase or piece of fabric, getting it all sewn up, stitched up, a little bit of thread, and then some Rust-Oleum camouflage brown earth tone rattle can through a camo net. And that's all you got to do, and it works insanely well, dating all the way back to uh, World War II. Enjoy. Go try it for yourself. It's, uh, it works extremely well.